Hello everyone, so today I'm going to discuss lab part chapter 9, simple harmonic motion, question 1. So let us look at the question first. Number 1a, the displacement x of a particle performing simple harmonic motion varies with time, t. According to the equation, x equal to 0 0.5 cos 10 pi t, where x is in meters and t in seconds. So Roman 1 derived the equation to show the variation of the velocity v and acceleration a with time t. So you are given that x is equal to 0 0.5 cos 10 pi t. So how are we going to find v? So as you know, v is equal to dx dt. So we are going to differentiate this x equation. So how are we going to differentiate it? So we can use product rule dx dt is equal to v u prime plus u v prime. So you can apply your mathematics into physics question. So u is equal to 0 0.5 and then cos 10 pi t is v. So differentiate u, so u prime is equal to 0 because differentiate constant is equal to 0. So v is equal to cos 10 pi t, so you're going to differentiate v. So the first step, you're going to differentiate cos first. So differentiate cos is equal to negative sine 10 pi t. And then you need to differentiate the value inside here. So differentiate 10 pi t, you get 10 pi. So dx dt, you substitute x first. Equal to so v times u prime so u prime is zero so v times u prime equal to zero plus u times v prime so u 0 0.5 times times negative sign 10 pi t times 10 pi So rearrange it, negative sign put at the first, 0 0.5 times 10 pi sine 10 pi t. So at the end you'll get negative 5 pi sine 10 pi t. So this is your V. So how to find A acceleration? A is equal to dV dt. So here you're gonna differentiate V. So V substitute V inside negative 5 pi sine 10 pi t. So we can use product rule to differentiate. So at the end you'll get 0 plus negative 5 pi cos 10 pi t times 10 pi so final you will get negative 50 pi square cos 10 pi t so you get your v and your a equation so differentiate the equation other than product rule you also can use chain rule so chain rule dx dt is equal to dx over du times du over dt. So you let u equal to 10 pi t. So dx dt equal to, so you can take out the constant and then substitute x cos u times. So this one is du. So you substitute u. u is 10 pi t into here. So same thing, you get the same answer. So it's up to you, you want to use product rule or chain rule. Next, Roman 2, calculate the velocity of the particle at time t equal to 0 0.25 second. So from the previous question, you already get your v equation, that is v equal to negative 5 pi sine 10 pi t. So the question asks, what is the velocity when t is equal to 0 0.25 second so in this case you just need to substitute t into this equation so v equal to negative 5 pi sine 10 pi t 
times 0 0.25 so at the end you get negative 15.71 meter per second as a reminder in this case you need to change your calculator from degree mode to radian mode so why you need to change your calculator into radian mode because this angle is in term of radian because pi is in radian so if the angle is in term of degree like sine 30 degree so you need to use degree mode in your calculator so if the question the situation is sine 2 pi so you need to change your calculator into radian mode so please be alert of this thing next Roman tree determine the maximum acceleration of particle so next find the maximum acceleration so as you know that maximum acceleration is equal to a omega square so in this case you can so previously you already get your a is equal to negative 50 pi square cos 10 pi t so this is from your derivation so you can compare your a equation to the general formula a equal to negative a omega square cos omega t so by comparing you can see that a omega square is equal to 50 pi square so here you can get your maximum acceleration equal to 493.48 meter per second square question 1b an object of mass 0 0.35 kg is attached to the end of a horizontal spring of force constant 50 newton per meter the object oscillates in simple harmonic motion of amplitude 7.5 cm for question 1b you can look at this diagram so there is a horizontal spring with a with an object with mass is equal to 0 0.35 kg so this diagram shows that the object is at three different moments when the box is at equilibrium so the extension is equal to zero meter so when you extend your object to the maximum extension so it's positive x so your maximum extension also equal to a is equal to 0 0.075 meter so when you compress your object to the left so you get negative x so you, when you compress it to the maximum extension which which is also equal to negative a so it is negative 0 0.075 meter this is actually three moment of the object it is not different object yeah? this is the same object at three different moment so let's say this ruler is our object so when it is at equilibrium x equal to 0 meter so when you extend the object to the maximum extension 0 0.075 meter and then you compress your object to the maximum extension negative 0 0.075 meter so it's actually like this it will oscillate like this all right so it's the same object not different object through this diagram you can determine your elastic potential energy and your kinetic energy so when your object is at equilibrium where is no extension so your elastic potential energy will be zero so if you extend the spring to the maximum extension your elastic potential energy will be maximum same goes to when you compress your spring to the maximum extension your elastic potential energy is maximum when your object is at equilibrium it moves the fastest so therefore your kinetic energy is maximum at equilibrium and the object will stop at the maximum extension therefore your kinetic energy is zero at both maximum extension calculate one roman the period of the simple harmonic motion the question asks us to find the period of the simple harmonic motion so the formula for the period of horizontal spring is t equal to 2 pi 
square root m over k. So from the question, you already know that m is equal to 0 0.35 kg and k is equal to 50 newton per meter. So you just substitute the information into the formula. t equal to pi square root 0 0.35 over 50. So your final answer is 0 0.53 second. That's it. Next, Roman 2. The kinetic energy when the position of the object is at x equal to 5.0 cm. So Roman 2, the question asks us to find kinetic energy when x is equal to 5 cm. So the formula of kinetic energy is 1 over 2 m omega square bracket a square minus x square bracket. So you can see here m omega square is actually equal to k because k is equal to m omega square. So here you can change it to k. So from the question, you are given k is equal to 50 newton per meter and the amplitude is equal to 0 0.075 meter. And it asks when the x is equal to 5 cm, so you change the unit to meter, which is equal to 0 0.05 meter. So you just substitute all the information given into this formula. So your final answer is 0 0.078 Joule. So kinetic energy, the unit is Joule. Next, Roman tree, the maximum potential energy. Roman tree, the last question, the question asks for the maximum elastic potential energy. So the formula of elastic potential energy is u equal to 1 over 2 k x square. So you can refer back to this diagram. So when it is at the maximum extension, which is equal to a equal to 0 0.075 meter, the elastic potential energy is the maximum. So when elastic potential energy is maximum, x is maximum. So our maximum extension is also equal to amplitude. So u max equal to 1 over 2 k a square. So equal to k is 50, a is 0 0.075 square. So at the end, you will get 0 0.14 joule. So elastic potential energy, the unit is also Joule. So that's all from me. Thank you for watching.